and now information that I've waited 10 years to give you. This is the 10th year of the choirs. If you go back 10 to 12 years, the very beginning of Yai's emergence with tones, with sounds of any kind, there started to be information given regarding Lemuria, especially who this might be, the man who stands at this very microphone when I'm not. There were some prophecies that I told you about him back then. But more than that, there was information that seemed startling, impossible, of why Yah-E was Yah-E. What had he done in Lemuria? Lemuria, a place with Star Mother's reign. And he was the son of a Star Mother. What he had was science back then. And the science that he had back then that I told you about specifically went this way. Yai could extend life. He'd figured it out. He had a process. And high on a mountain top using that which was the coldness as part of the science at that time that needed to be there, with a science that he had developed using the essence of a newborn temporarily as the seed. He could take an adult and use the seed of the essence for, for just a moment or two of that, of that beautiful child, not harming it at all, and imbue that seed into the adult so that the adult in another chair would receive three years more life. I made that so clear. That's what he did. You might imagine he was pretty popular. <laughs> <laughs> I also told you that, like so many cultures, not everyone got to do it. But those who did sustain themselves for many years. Yaw he lived a very long time. And that's what he did. He was the first Lemurian name we gave. Why have I waited 10 years for this channel? You haven't seen him for three years. You don't know what's happened. And part of what he will present, I know him, tonight, will be the rest of the story. For this year, he's gotten notice by the mainstream of those on the very top end of longevity studies in the world. He has made himself known and proved what he is currently doing on this planet to a very, very skeptical audience. An audience so skeptical that they would sit in front of him with folded arms and say, I want to hear the guy, but I don't believe it before I hear him. And when he was done, they signed up for his process. And what is he doing? He has discovered the seeds that every single human has that hasn't normally been known or, or, or seen or appreciated, the V-cells, the very small embryonic cells alive and ready to go that are, that are one or two days old right now in every single one of you, the seed of the baby. And he's been able to imbue that into adults in a very unique way with his, with his physics invention, the laser. And guess how many years they're measuring that it gives them? Three. He is repeating today what he did 26,000 years ago. That is who stands here as your leader. He's not just the guy with the funny tones. He's much more than that. It's going to come at some prices, and the prices are those who don't want him to do it. 
But you have already seen that on this planet. When science gets a little higher than is known by those who studied it, they don't want to go any further. But he will overcome that. But this, ten years later, I can tell you he's doing it. He's doing it. And this is what we wanted to say to you, that the things that seem so outlandish, that was in Lemuria, is being brought here, and it's no accident. So as he's remembered the tomes, he's also been able to remember his science. Thank you, Yahi.